and I want you to listen in on these words as I do a speed run on the interpretations. The first thing we're going to interpret right here is B0. B0 is the interpretation of the intercept. On the test, if there's a question like interpret the intercept, do not say. I see it all the time. I see the intercept is 40. Yes, that is true but that is not an interpretation of the intercept. You're gonna hear me say zero two times when I interpret this intercept. I'm gonna say when x is equal to zero, we expect y to equal b zero. Now that's not the in context interpretation. We need to give the interpretation the, no, the names of the variables. So I'm gonna say when weight is equal to zero, we expect height to equal 40. Why did I say this? Because weight is x, height is y, and then b0 is 40. So when x is equal to 0, we expect y to equal b0. For the next one right here, we have the slope. Now when we look at the slope right here, the slope is b1. And you're going to hear me say 1 twice in this interpretation. So when, or for each, let me try that again, for each one unit increase in x, we expect y to increase by b1. Now if you notice, I didn't give it the context yet, but I'm telling you, for each, and let's highlight as we do it, for each one unit increase in x, we expect y to increase by b1. Now you could say we would predict that y increases because that is predicted y. But notice how I say one two times. For each one unit increase in x, we expect y to increase by b1. So listen now as I do the context of it. For each one pound increase in weight, I expect somebody's height to increase by 0.35 inches. For each one pound increase in weight, I expect someone's height to increase by 0.35 inches. And that is the interpretation of the slope right here. Now for the bonus, we're still in bonus. Speed run's not over yet because there's an important thing you might notice. When I interpreted that intercept, we actually have what is called an illogical intercept. Because I said, when somebody's weight is equal to zero, as though we're timesing that by zero, when someone's weight is equal to zero, we expect their height to equal 40 inches. Now think about that. Can someone have a weight of zero? And let's say that happened. If someone had a weight of zero, they would take up no space and then they couldn't have a height of 40 inches. So when someone has a weight of zero, we would predict that their height would be 40 inches. That works for interpretation too, but that's illogical. So how do you know if the intercept is illogical? Well, think about it, just read it. When somebody's weight is equal to zero, we expect or predict that their height will be equal to 40 inches. You can't weigh zero pounds, and if you did, that'd be impossible. That's the answer to your test question there, and that's a world record right there. We've got so many people to challenge today. I think we're challenging Mike Matei from, from Cinemassacre. Great channel right there. I think he used to do some speed runs, but Mike, you need to get in this stat speed runs game. Let's see it happen. Now back to your regularly scheduled program.